always comments on the people with tongue given legs. I'd say he's a giant, isn't he? <laughs> we had a garden, a bit of a foot, you know, an old road in his bit of the garden. We had a garden just like that. It was an apple, old battles. Yeah, but super efficient. That seems to be a bit of a worry, isn't it? I'm 
Well, a show match on the end product of the film, time I get to Fed Church Street. <laughs> See for the dead flies, yeah. No, I'll build that.
there, he's testing the bells out, we've got two to go and then one to stop. Mm. <laughs> so what is, what is actually wrong with it then? It's just won't ring twice. It'll ring one spot out, I believe, but not twice, yeah? Well, it just appears to ring and it don't ring. There's something wrong with the plunging there, yeah. so... The system itself is working. It's ringing in his brake there. And I should mention it's worked in the like, uh, mm. But uh, he rang twice, which, which rang here, didn't they? Mm. And then he's obviously pressed it again for some reason. Yeah. Because it's worked. So I've got all three then. I've got two to go, one to stop. Yes, of course. Driving the back cab to try and out now. He won't give him one thinking it's not working here at all. Mm. We'll obviously get an express one, didn't we? One ride from Wimbledon to West Croydon and uh, drive from the guy. I mean, the guy was in here. Right. The wrong end of the cab, the guy's come up right here. So let's tell you what, I'll give you a sound effect. The guy's going ding ding, the guy's going ding ding. It's all like text to each other. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully, he's on every available flight. He's taking the video. Testing the bells, we're just trying to see if we can get them to work. <laughs> you got ringing in your ears, have you? <laughs> to leave the flipping bells alone, we'll be alright. <laughs> yeah. Well,
they've had a lot of failures, they seem to have been over it. Yeah, they're not travelling over here, so yeah. that's why they sent him over here, I guess. Everyone else is rubbish. Well, they've still got transformed well, they have a test of over they got a radiator up there with a the fan behind it, which is sat with all air in. The grid, they don't keep it clear.
back on this one. <laughs> oh, <it's>, yeah. <laughs> It's a little bit like the fact they uh, chew up on the old film. Yeah, those little, in the little ones, they come out of pretty big ones. Mm. I mean, it's, it's you get used to it, you know, it's just, they tend to build up, you know. Because then I came down here the other way, like the South End Group, the other day, we cleaned it really nice at Liverpool Street. By the time you get to the South End, it's just... Yeah. I mean, put the squirts on that and put the wipe away. Probably just, yeah. just squeeze and squirt that whole thing. You just tend to get clean, get glass and stuff. Mm. That's, that's all right, on. When you're coming down that bank, you stop here. Mm -hmm. 
there's the second aspect to AWS. Mm -hmm. Well, all according to your speed, but you certainly want the brake on. But you certainly want the brake on before you hit that AWS magnet. Yeah. Or well, you, you stand no chance of stopping. And uh, have you had any of those? Uh, Right. Yeah, yeah. You'll be doing one of them. Yeah, with the new bogeys on. The brakes are useless. Yeah, it's not useless. Well, if you get one of those, you see what? What? So you get one of our 302s, break away merrily, the normal, how you normally break. They've got the old frisbee pattern, don't you? Yeah. So, so where you, yeah, well, where you normally break. Yeah. And then you get on a, uh, one of the 308 converted jobs and a push. He obviously is a driver. You brake much into putting the brake on a descent place to set put it to speed, aren't you? So you do that and you go back. So you've got one of these. Of course you've got a mission too, haven't you? And they start slinging the book and saying, why did you have a mission? That's right for me when I had that uh, day ball. I had one of these at the back end. Yeah. Not one of these, one of the 308 conversion shots. On the way up. Front. Everything was okay. The other brake was different as well. On the way back, I was uh, barking bastard. Yeah. Of course, I put the brake on. Barking bastard, and I thought, I'm going on it straight away. There's just no chance of stopping. You, you know, just by experience. You know, we're sitting at around about two notches. I've never been better than that, but I can be a trick to find the stop on. This, this guy was shouting on his own. I didn't know the other one. You know, when he got, when he got indoors, he followed up with that ball. So when I, I went down, I got the next day, there's four of them. What did I call you? You know, it's good for all of them, except for two balls. Used to have to do that when we used to go from stair fault. We 
when I was at Stratford. When I was at Stratford. Sand train. Uh, it was 37, and you know, about 900 tons of track, you know, mm. and about 20, 22 sand offers from the first eight fitted, mm. and the rest were swinging. And uh, there's so many run away down the bank that they restricted it to 15 miles an hour, mm. way down the bank. Because mm. it was a class 8 train, 35 mile an hour, but if, if you'd let her run, down the bank, you can see them shake, you never hold it. It took them a long time, it took them many years to realise it. It's amazing, sort of run away down there. Yeah. I mean, that goes back to the old days of, well, not quite, the old days of British Rail, still operating now, though they're few and far between loose cut and trains. Yeah. And the country in the world to operate. Yeah. That's all well and good, but you've really got to know what you're doing. That's, that's the most difficult train I've ever operated, when as a driver. Yeah, I mean, I mean, in the steam there, they always put his handbrake on. Yeah, this elbow is loose from the train in the steam there, so they break that bolt. Just to get what they call number one speed, that was middle and right hand buckler. And then two speeds, top and right hand buckler. Three speeds, they used to be middle and left hand buckler. But, and they brought in uh, one of them beaching trains they brought in. He had a brilliant idea, for about 70 odd trucks on him, and so many fitted out he, well, that was first brought in during the beaching area. That's what we used to Well, there used to be a special name for him, beaching, some sort of thing. I can't remember what they call them now. We used to run down the white there. Uh, they don't have a big run trains down there anymore, they might run your case on the freight like, like, We used to run at the brush too. Uh, the last eight, you know, it's not the brush too. Right? Yeah. Well then, the 
surface to requirements open the crossfall is inevitable. They've got three tents. Yeah, but they're bringing these in. And they're dispensing with a three or two. The climate, I know the three or two are going to be there. Yeah, they're 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 going to be there. Yeah
know straight away that the chance of going to get problems. They're, they're just not. Well, I can't speak for these, but the, the, the other ones, they just ain't got the. Um, probably the first place when they were built, they didn't have the substantial material put in them for them to last. Whereas them three or two, they were built to last. There's no doubt about that. But this the modern stuff like the 315, they're not built to last. This is curious, like this was the bridge and I saw him the use, but they've got like some of the oldest stock of the entire British Railway. Yeah. They're like Gorman type. Like, I mean that's operating on like, Mark 1 coaches. Yeah. And at the same yeah. time the new Wessex units have got like the very oldest and the very latest. Yeah. I mean it just doesn't make sense really. Well like I just said to the chap here, the I can see the uh, I, I think honestly that, that you'll never get to speak the mind PR, PR yeah. management top level but uh, they obviously cost contract these things out to be built to do that at a cost and they're only getting what money they're only getting a, an object for what price they're prepared to pay which is an inferior one to the original trade yeah. and I don't think that the um, unless they're actually forced that they'd be prepared to risk bringing three one fives of this section in the peak because they just have to reorganise the peak, the timing of the peak if they do. And I can't see the punters, the, the public, uh, with a clout that they carry on this section. Uh, I'll have an answer. It seems to be a lot of things rushed out very quickly. Yeah. So it's not like those three one nights which are like at some point in the day the guy said they're nearly very very good but because they rushed it out so quickly they didn't need a proper to do.
Yeah, that's what I want. Thinking there used to be like there's a line down to bow coming under here somewhere. Yeah, and there was a line of loops to all these houses. Yeah, there's a line of bows up there. No, there was the one that went straight down. Straight down. It went straight to this estate, yeah. Is it really? And it, there used mm. to be a, a loop to come up there. That's right. With that bit of bank yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. you could come yeah. off down there, come around, come up and go straight up. Yeah. Yeah, and that used to get yeah. you onto the North London line. That's right. A lot of yeah, it was. Yeah. I don't know how they took that down, but I've got a photograph of all this before this was here. Mm. This is Gas Factory Junction. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. yeah. I can see it, yeah. Yeah. They used to come really off there and drop down the ground and leave them underneath the ground. Yeah, up, up that way, yeah. 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 You can see it. It has to be pointed out that we've noticed it before. Because yeah. like, you could get stopped coming that way and turn off the left end to the docks. So mm. Down the pub, that. Yeah. Part of the end bit of that is to take them for the dock into like railways. Yeah, that's right. If you go down the top of the docks and straight for does it? Old Bindle Railway, I've London Bindle Railway. Yeah. Just run around a Victorian park. I've never been down there. It's a lovely little old railway, really. Mm. So yeah, I've been there. I've been on this day with Bill Virtually everywhere. Apart from right around the... That's the end of Bengt, isn't it? Just a totally different railway. It's all different Bengt. So, I did a stint in Lincoln and the crossroads go down on the clean menus to March. To March? Yeah. One more. Shack deal. It's a quarter, we just call it the top of the top of the farm wire. Turn left in farm wire and uh, provide a language. Not down a killer marsh and put a Sheffield that way. We can't, we can't go that way now, then. Because they've taken the lines so. off. Yeah, we've got to find some bloke who can take me down to Thames Haven. Look at that. Thames Haven. Mm. You know, it's sort of like a freight route off the other line. Are you trying to capture all, all of the London? I'd like to have been around. Well, I'd like to get the. No, all, all over the country, really. Eventually. Mm. Like two weeks of every year, nothing to do in 20 years' time. Yeah. <laughs> you want to try and uh, get the run from. Uh, well, you want to do it all the way from Donkers to General Max, from to Wath Yard, mm. Unwell Junction. Uh, up to Stairport, Barnsley, Paniston, and then the drop around to Huddersfield. Uh, yeah, well, that's, a, that's a fantastic, that's super. Well, as it happens, I'll, I'll be going up to there for a couple of weeks and I'll just be some things and fill around there. I've got like the Doncaster Leeds and Sheffield Barnsley Leeds. Mm. Mm. just fill in all the gaps eventually, you know, but all those sort of freight routes like Thames Haven and stuff like that are really nice. Yeah, I don't know, because I never did any firing over there, I mean, uh, so I don't know what to happen. But had a stroll into Rip Ripple Lane Depot last night. Yeah, yeah. that's right. So if you could arrange something for you. Is it? I thought it was a Stratford driver or something. Like that. Well, it's mostly Ripple Lane, then. It's the same, because they, they work what they call the uh, trip, trip, trip train. Mm. Yeah, I think that's your best bet. They, they run them from um, Thames Haven to... Uh, They ran them to, uh, I can't think of the name of them. Pick it up, yeah. <laughs> they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna look like the yard, yeah. Where yeah. the logo is. Come on, Ripple Lane, don't Yeah, what's the cool yard? Yeah. It's a Ripple Lane. Yeah, they ran them from there. Ripple Lane yards. They might pick them up from there, or even rip the laymen themselves up. I mean, they go over the shit, rip the laymen. Now, if we get two yellows here, we're right here, aren't we? On this road. Yeah, it's on this road. You've got an extra one on this side. We've got an extra road, haven't we? We've got an extra signal. Yes, sir, they used to be equal this side, but they dispense with the one on the ground, the ground level here. Yeah, I'm just saying, we've got two of them right here. And there, now you can be stopped outside, too. 
I said, what I do find, I find these signals along here, put in the most awkward of positions, and really, you know, all right, the sighted yeah. well, are they? Yeah. And they're all different levels, different heights. Oh, they're not uniform, but like there's one here down at the post. Well, they're the other one stuck right up in the air again. Up this there. was the original signal, and when they went from the same force to a dollar, never been touched. That's why when you leave off instead, you've just got the old search line, single last bait. Yeah, I've landed on the Eastern Railway, but I've got 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 the Eastern Railway, but even a cab ride being, being released with the um, stereo sound helicopter shots and all, you know. Yeah. You just don't get the underneath view, that's all. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. 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 Where about so you going now then, are you? I'll be... Um, are you going to try and get on the Thames? Thames back? We'll probably try and get... I think, uh, Silvery line if I can. Uh, 